Hi class, welcome back to Acids and Bases. We already did the Arrhenius definition where we talked about the acids being the producers of hydrogen ions in water and bases produce the hydroxide ions in water. But hmm, how can ammonia be a base when it doesn't contain hydroxide ions? Let's see what they do when they're in water. Here's your ammonia molecule. As it reacts with the water, the ammonia's lone pair of electrons has the ability to grab onto the hydrogen from the water. This in turn makes your ammonium ion and your hydroxide ion. Now acids are hydrogen ion donors, while bases are the hydrogen ion acceptors in this theory, the bronsted lowry definition. Arrhenius is a smaller definition of acids and bases. bronsted lowry encompasses all of the Arrhenius acids and bases and then adds more to them to give us a better definition of what an acid and a base actually is. In this reaction, notice that it's reversible. So the ammonia turns into the ammonium, the water turns into the hydroxide, but they can go backwards and do the other. When you have this reaction here, you'll see that the ammonia is the base because it has the ability to grab the hydrogen ion from the water. That makes water acting like an acid. In turn, on the other side, what you have is your ammonium ion that in the reverse can donate its hydrogen ion back to the hydroxide, turning that into what we call the conjugate acid. And then the hydroxide ion is now taking on that hydrogen, so we call that the conjugate base. Ammonia base turns into the conjugate acid ammonium, and the water acid turns into the conjugate base hydroxide ion. So you have a conjugate acid base pair in each one of these.